this is an update on an older video that I did regarding Bitcoin. It's a little different, but bear with me. It's going to be simple and it's going to give you an idea why I like Bitcoin, why everybody should like Bitcoin, why is it simple, elegant, kind of predictable, but also profitable for those who can be patient. So this is the Bitcoin price tracking based on having dates, the M2 supply. It's a combination of the having, where rewards for miners are cut by 50% every four years in combination with the M2 supply worldwide related to deflation of the currencies, the amount of liquidity coming into the economy and to the money system. So let's start. We're going to analyze the second, the third and the fourth having. We are in the fourth having at this stage. I did not include the first having because it was too early on. So this chart is very simple. You have the halvings on the left, the halving date, and you will see also whatever price it was. At that time, what happens? 12 months after the halving, 17, 18, and 19 months post halving. And also, what was the peak price for the halving per se? And what was the low price after the halving for that cycle and you will see how elegant it is sometimes how predictable it is and it's gonna give you an idea of what to expect for this fourth having that we are on so let's start the second having happened on the 9th of july 2016 the price of bitcoin at that time was 663 dollars 12 months after the having date the 9th of July 2017, the price was at $2,537. That's a 3.8x from the 9th of July 2016. 17 months after the halving. On the 9th of December 2017, the price was 15580 That's 23.5x. It's not 23.5%, it's 23.5x. 18 months after the halving, on the 9th of January 2018, the price was almost the same, a little lower, 14973 a 22.6x. And on the 19th month after the halving, 9th of February 2018, the price dropped to 9122 still 13.7x post halving. Now let's look at the third halving. So the third halving happened four years later on the 11th of May 2020 and the price at that time for Bitcoin was 8,949. One if one year after that having on the 11th of May 2021 the price was 57,939 a 6.4x even higher than the previous having. On the 17th month after the third having the price was 57,627 it didn't change much, 6.4x. On the 18th month, post the having on the 11th of November 2021, the price was a little higher, 65,460. That's 7.3x. And 19 months after the third having, the price dropped to $50,724 of 5.6x. So you see, the increase in price after one year and then continues to go higher normally on the 17th month. The peak is around the 18th month and then it drops in the 19th month. That's pretty much what we have seen so far. So for the fourth having, the only data that we have is the 20th of April 2024. The price at that time was 64,926. 12 months after that, it's going to be in April 2025. I'm making this video in November of 2024, so we still have a few months left. Then we will look at September 2025, October 2025, and November of 2025, which is a year exactly from today. So what was the top of the second halving? We'll see it now. That happened on the 15th of December 2017. That's a little after the 17th month post halving. And the maximum price was $19,716. Uh, 
And that happened exactly 17 months and six days post the second halving. The lowest price was on the 14th of December 2018, almost a year after that, with the lowest price of $3,275. And that's 29 months and five days after the second halving on the 9th of July 2016. What happened on the third? having. So the peak was on the 7th of November 2021 with a price of $67,673 and that's 17th month and 27 days post having. You see that four years before it was also a little over 17 months. In this case it was almost 18 months just a few days off. That was the peak of the third having and the lowest price of the third halving was on the 8th of November 2022 at $15,880. That's 29 months and 28 days. Exactly 29 months like the second halving. Just a few extra days. So how come four days later the price behaves almost identically for peaks and bottoms of Bitcoin? So this is a combination of the having effect, but there's a big chunk of that that is linked to the M2 supply. And that M2 supply also usually works in four year cycle. So why Satoshi started the Bitcoin algorithm to mimic those cycles, to always be on a presidential election year in the US, and it coincides with M2 supply. To me, that's not a coincidence that's actually done on purpose and that gives Bitcoin of predictability. So now we are on the fourth halving. Many things have changed between the second halving and the third and the third versus the fourth and even between the second and the fourth halving, tons of stuff have changed. So what will happen in October of 2025 based on this data, the peak of the Bitcoin price will be in October 2025. And the bottom will be in October 2026. We are looking to the future now. And if this repeats, it's going to give you a great advantage on getting out of your positions if you want to sell Bitcoin near the peak. And why did I select to show you the price of 17 months, 18 months, and 19 months after the halving, it's because the peak happens in this three-month window. So if you sell some of your assets on the 17th month, on the 18th month, and on the 19th month, and you average that down, you'll get most of the gains near the top. It's impossible to get it exactly. Even though here, the tops are within 30 days for four year windows. That's incredible. Same thing for the low price post having. It's 29 months plus or minus 30 days, which is huge. So with this video, you have an insight on when the top could be for Bitcoin, September, 2025, October, 2025, November, 2025. And then after that, you pack your bags, you get ready, you keep your cash ready, and then to deploy when? Near October of 2026. It could be September 2026, October 2026, and November 2026. Things have now changed for Bitcoin because now we have the ETF approved. Companies are adding Bitcoin to their balance sheets. Maybe even countries will soon add Bitcoin to their balance sheet. We are talking millions of dollars and some, in some cases billions of dollars of buying pressure for Bitcoin. It's not only retail. The second and the third having was mostly retail. A little bit of institution but very very little. So this fourth having could be different but having a look at the past gives you an idea of what may happen in the future. And to close the loop, the M2 supply four year cycle, I do not think it will change. Therefore, there's a validity to keep these dates in check 
I will follow this. I will make updates on this video because I think it's a great way to select windows if you want to sell at peak. This can give you an idea of when to sell altcoins to. This also applies a little bit to tech stocks because tech stocks also depend on the M2 supply. They don't have the having, but they have the M2 supply. And the last, last thing, I've said that a couple of times on my videos, Bitcoin is a finite asset. We cannot print more, we cannot generate more, we have to deal with whatever is available on the market. If there's tons of people to, who want to buy, the price will jump accordingly. That's why I did not include price predictions here because it's pointless. Based on this video, you know pretty much where the peak will be. If it's $100,000, $200,000, $500,000, or a million dollars, the same strategy applies. It gives you a window to look into to see where you can take profits and also where you could buy assets for the next four year cycle. The difficulty in investing is first finding the right asset. Bitcoin is one of them. The second thing is studying the asset, know when the best windows are to buying the asset. You have an idea here now. After that is what? Going hard on an asset. If you just put a few hundred dollars and your portfolio is in the 100 or in the millions, it won't change much. You only have to have a few positions, go hard on them based on your research. You go hard, that's the other thing. And the third thing is sell near peaks if and when you know they will happen. We have data for Bitcoin. It's extremely difficult to determine for normal stocks because they're different beasts. It's not the same thing. But for Bitcoin, we have data. And if I'm wrong with the price, if instead of being $100,000 per coin, it's $500,000 per coin, it will not change what you need to do. If you want to sell, you sell near the top. If you want to buy, you buy near the bottom. The goal of the video here is to give you an idea of what has happened before, and what could happen in the future, we will see. If it repeats again, well, why not use these data? That's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very simple, very elegant, like I indicated, and it's a nice asset to have. I'm looking for disruptive assets that return 30% of more per year. Bitcoin is one of them, and it's not gonna stop. It probably is gonna be very very helpful for many people in the future to accumulate buying power against inflation and debasement of your currency that's the goal here see you in the next one